Hello and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast, your one-stop shop for three cousins arguing about dumb shit. I'm Brendan, and with Luke. Hello! And Jonathan. Hi. So, uh, topic for today is largely E3, until we run out of things to talk about with E3, and then... I don't have any topics prepared, I don't know if you guys do. I don't know what we're going to do for the second half. I mean, I feel like... I feel like we'll argue about something at some point, and then that will fill up half the time anyway. Sure. But, uh, yeah, so what do we want to start with? Alright, what games have we all been playing? I have been replaying Dead Space, uh, lately on the impossible difficulty. Uh, which actually makes me, like, need to balance my ammo and shit, so it is a very different experience to just normal Dead Space. It's been interesting. I've been playing uh, Metro Exodus on PC using uh, the PC game pass. I need to I need to finish that game. <laughs> I did not go very far in it. it. It wasn't bad. I don't think the open world is good for Metro though. Like I liked no, the first no, two way not. better. I've just uh, I've been replaying uh, Mystery Dungeon, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Just oh, that was, like, I've heard it's good. Like, yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite games. I've heard it is a game. I really like it. I, I actually, like, I think that that style of game hasn't been explored enough. Cause, like, I, Pokemon, I think it has. No, Pokemon has. <laughs> I think we're done. done. We're done exploring that. <laughs> we're done exploring <laughs> Pokemon Dungeon. <laughs> I promise you. Alright, describe what Pokemon Dungeon is. It's, um, so it's, like... So it's got a story like any other RPG, but then it's got like roguelike. Um... Oh yes, yes, we need more roguelikes. I'd love no. Roguelikes. Here's the thing: it's roguelike levels, but like I don't know. It's hard to explain. So like when you go yeah, into so, like, dungeon, Banner Saga? is that what it's called? Like? I don't think so. I don't know. It's just there's like <laughs> levels with specific types of enemies in it. Yeah. So like it's pretty standardized, but um. You know, it's just but sometimes it's not style. standard. Yeah, like a roguelike. I don't know. Yeah, I fucking like... like the game. Quit bullying me. <laughs> Have you ever played uh, Faster Than Life? Faster, Faster Than, than light? light? Yeah. That game's alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Light is the correct term. Did you just say Life? Like, he did action. say Life. I thought that yeah, that I was did. just a meme. I thought you were, like, memeing there. No, I'm just high on crack. High on crack? That's, you know? Yes, that is better. correct. Um, so E3 first conference was EA, right? Wasn't it Xbox? Yeah, uh, it was EA. It was uh, EA on Sunday or Saturday. And no one gave a fuck. That is correct. <laughs> uh, they showed off Fallen Order, which looks okay. Uh, I thought it looked bad, but really? what do I? I don't know. I don't really care about like anything with EA. I don't really care about anything with Star Wars anymore after it got neutered, so... Yeah. I mean... I mean, I'll probably check it out. You know, people wrongly kind of assume, you know, that, like, when you say, like, I don't like Star Wars anymore, that you're referring to, uh, like, you're being political or something, or you're just trying to be, like, contrary. Like, no, it's just bad. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty rough. <laughs> I mean, I, I, 7 was good. We, we went over this, but yeah. I, I just have to say it. Every time, what a missed opportunity everything is. So, yeah, it's been pretty... Yeah. So, I had a day. It was pretty exciting. Um, I woke up, I played Metro, and then I decided, you know what? I really want to, like, my cooler is making too much noise. I want to, I, I had an old uh, Hyper H212 that I had oh, laying around, your just computer. a okay, gotcha. CPU cooler. And I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in. So I got out the box that I bought at Micro Center about a year ago, and I set it all up, and... I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this isn't gonna fit. Not because the board won't fit for any particular reason, but just literally I could not make it fit. And I Googled it because I don't have the manual anymore. And I'm missing, uh, like, specific sized items. Just not the right size. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, I try to like look for them all day. I rip apart my entire apartment looking for them. Can't can't find them. Um, yep. That that's basically what happened. And then, uh, I saw some canned air, and I just decided, fuck it, I'll fix my uh, my water loop. Dusted the shit out of my computer, and everything's like 30 degrees colder. So, nice. overall, pretty successful day. We got off E3 like real. Yeah, cool. just immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, on a Microsoft, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I actually wrote down 10 games for Microsoft Conference that I either want or want to keep an eye on. Well, uh, first off, Luke totally called that they were gonna, you know, talk about Scarlet. But like, I mean, you didn't yeah. The name of it. Well, I think the reason why they were they they had already kind of alluded to it at previous E3. It would be wild if they didn't, to be honest. And then beyond beyond that, um, they're losing. Like yeah. from a not not to say like ha they suck they're losing, but like they're they're behind right now. Like yeah. that is what it is. So like they and when you're behind, you have to that. take risks. You have to, you know, you it, have to kind of reveal stuff beforehand. Yeah. Just to get people excited. Especially because like Sony didn't release a lot of info, but they already released some info. So Microsoft literally had to. But yeah, yeah. Um, the ten games I wrote down, we can go through them, like, and you guys can tell sure. me if you don't want them. But uh, Outer Worlds is the first one. That is the Obsidian developed uh, RPG. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think it, I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys are interested in it. I don't know. I didn't like. I um definitely am going to get it as soon as possible. As mm. soon as it comes out, basically, as soon as the reviews come out, and give it like an eighty or above. Yeah. Um, it's it's looking like it's probably going to be one of the best games. Is it this year? Of this year? next year, I think, but I could be wrong. I think it's the end of this year, but it looks like it's probably going to be my favorite game of this year if it comes out this year. Mm. Uh, then the next thing I wrote down was Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which I think that's what the title was. The next Ori game. I haven't played yeah, them, yeah, but they look so good, and I want to play the first one. Yeah, ones. and I hear good you things. The first one? I haven't. Are there, are there two now, or is this the second one? Uh, this is the second one. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played the first one yet, but it, the, it looks great, and I, yeah, I know that I'll enjoy it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah. There's, it does one thing that's pretty annoying, but I can't spoil it. Okay. So um, like one big story thing is like, well, that kind of like makes the whole story a little bit dumb. Hmm. But. And then the uh, the next play. thing is uh, the Blair Witch game. Yeah. I, I kind of like just random horror games, so it seems fun for me. Um, then Spiritfarer, which was the... They were on like a boat with a weird deer lady. Um, there wasn't much to it, but it was enough to intrigue me. For which game? Uh, Spirit Farer. There was like an anthropomorphic deer lady who then exploded into light or something as her human daughter. I do not remember this at all. <laughs> all right. Yeah, um, no, I literally do not. Okay, just me. That's fine. Um, right Psychonauts 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, did I mean, obviously, it's very did you see the writers on that? The writers? Yeah, like, they got some people from uh, Valve. Oh, I did not see that. Yeah, no, they got some people from Photo, uh, if I'm not mistaken. You got some what? The people, some people that were on Portal 2, like some of the writers from that game. They're on Psychonauts well, that, 2. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm like, I, I think it's going to be great. And then, uh, I mean, I have never said it wasn't like I don't think anyone would be like, yeah, that Psychonauts two is gonna be shit, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, I could see it if they got like a totally different team, you know, or whatever. But it's made by the same people, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same. Like, and then I, uh, twelve minutes looked really cool. Oh yeah, it did. It, you know, here's the thing. I I can see that like being really done well, kind of like Majora's Mask. Mm -hmm. If you will. Yeah, I, I, I like time loop shit. Actually, I didn't like yeah. Majora's Mask, but <laughs> it, for the most part, I like time loop stuff. Um, so, yeah, that was intriguing to me. And then Way to the Woods, which is the other deer game where they had, like, their horns were lit up and they could, like, they took the light mm -hmm. from signs and stuff like that. 
Um, you just like deer games, eh? <laughs> if the, that was I was joking about the deer games all of this during E3, but uh, yeah, I don't know, like just little ex exploration stuff like that. There've been some interesting deer neat. games lately. It's been an interesting development. Um, of deer games. And then I wrote down Tales of Arise, which the only Tales game I have played Tales is game. Zestiria, but this one looks really good. I'm not, I'm enjoying Zestiria, so I, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't like this. Yeah. Um. And then Elden Ring because I play all the from yeah, software obviously. games. obviously. <laughs> and it's I mean that's a game that like I'm not really a fan of from software because but I feel like, like the story is always shit. But you like in Martin. my opinion. But yeah, Martin I feel like is going to be able to at the very least like make a really interesting world. Yeah. And then the last one I have written down is Halo Infinite, but I actually don't know if I'll play it. I probably will. I mean, here's the thing. Um, it's not going to come out till at least 2020, so... Mm -hmm. I can guarantee that, so... It, it's very clearly, if you watch the trailer, even though it, like, it looks unassuming, there's so many new technical aspects that are clearly not capable on Xbox One. Mm -hmm. So... So, one second, I have to mute myself to take care of something. Are you gonna fart? But you, you guys farting? can just, uh... Are you doing something with work? You guys can just talk amongst yourselves. Oh, wow, that's so interesting. So, so what else did you think about the Microsoft conference? The Microsoft one in particular doesn't really interest me that much, since I don't have an Xbox, and I don't really... Yeah, no, but you're an idiot, then. Why? Because you have a fucking PC. And they literally talked about how Game Pass now works on PC, and how every game now that's ever made on Microsoft is made on what? PC. PC. So, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean like, I don't know. But that does mean like, it it, it precisely means like. I don't think that. I don't know. It's just not something that I'm personally invested in. What do you think about the Halo Infinite? Yeah, I thought, like I said, I thought it's it's very, it's going to be pretty good. I think it's way too soon to tell. Like, you know, we didn't see any, like, uh, gameplay. No gameplay. I no think they're game. doing it. They're doing it right. I can tell. The game won't actually oh, have any gameplay. Huh? They're revolutionizing <coughs> the whole industry. They're not going to put any they're gameplay just, in their game. Making a movie. Yeah. No, you've, no, you've seen the, um, the previous trailer. For which? For uh, Infinite. Previous trailer? Yeah, the f last year's trailer for it. Oh, I don't remember, but yeah, I mean, I, I did watch it at some point. So they had gameplay in that particular, uh, in that particular um, trailer. And you could tell right away that, like, this is what I've been saying, but, you know, I have a lot of... People are very upset. I feel like people who are really hardcore fans are very upset when you mention, like, that's actually not possible on current hardware. I'm not trying to be a dick, like, I can just tell, like, that's... What they were showing is not possible on current hardware, like, yeah. either that's, like, PC footage or fake, or it's next generation. Do you know what was wild to me? Was all the people watching this trailer this year saying, Oh, what the fuck, is that the Chief? How is he a dad? Like, no, that's not the Chief. The Chief has lived inside a suit of armor for the last however many decades. He is skin and bones outside of that armor. Yeah. It'd be cool if it's been, like, 100 years. Or, like, 200 or 300. I forget how I don't much think, it is. I don't think the Spartans lived that long. It's been a while since I read up on the, the Halo lore. The universe, if yeah. you will. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, here's the thing. I, the Halo universe, the Halo story, it's not bad by any means, but is it something that I feel like I want to, like, commit to learning about? Yeah. No, not at all. So... That's how I feel about that anyway. But I feel like PC Game Pass is going to be so... Here's the thing, it's it's revolutionary for so many different reasons because it is a full, like, we're going from like, oh, Epic Games plus Steam, which right now it's basically, if you want, here's how I see it, Microsoft absolutely played Epic Games. Like, they played Epic Games. How do you mean? 
been denied. So By my Microsoft has been kind of like, oh, we'll give some games to Steam, we'll give some games to Epic. Oh, yeah. Um but all of these games now they're basically they're saying outright all of these games are available on none other than the Microsoft PC store. So to me, it just seems like this whole time they they've been kind of working towards um, that particular goal of destabilizing the PC market by making Epic better than it really should be, along with like Deep Silver. And now, all of Deep Silver's games and all of Microsoft's games are on the Microsoft Store, which has better goodwill than maybe uh, Epic Games. Yeah. So people are more willing to give uh, the Xbox Store on Microsoft's Windows 10 a look. Oh, absolutely. Then they may have if it was just Steam up against you know Microsoft Store. I don't think it would have been too bad. Like obviously there would have some people that have been like, well, I'd rather stick with Steam. But I think the one dollar Game Pass would have convinced enough people that it wouldn't have mattered as long as they didn't do anything, you know, too yeah. questionable. But the fact that, like, oh, you know, it doesn't have my Steam friends list and yeah. stuff uh, is enough to get a lot of people. But now that there's so many people on Epic, there's so many people on all these different, uh, you know, GOG is really popular. I mean, it's not really popular, but I recommend everyone, if you have a game in particular that you want to support a developer on PC, you should be buying it on GOG. It's as simple as that. Hmm. Um, specifically, if you're buying uh, Cyberpunk 2077, it should be on GOG because they get 100% of the profits. That's another game that I don't know if I'm going to get. Oh, I'm definitely going to get that game. Like, what, Cyberpunk? I don't know, Witcher 1 and 2 weren't very fun for me, and Witcher 3, like, I just keep dropping it because I can't stick with it. I yeah, don't know no, what it is you about have, it. Like, mini ADD compared to me, but I have the same problem, where it's just like there's too many side quests, and the side quests... I, I know, do side quests like a... in a lot of games. It's just that game, I can't... I, I don't know, I just can't stick with it for some reason. I feel similarly. So I, I don't know yet if I'm going to get Cyberpunk. But just looking at it, looking at the gameplay, like, that's always been my main thing with CD Projekt Red games, is I feel like the story, or the gameplay has always kind of been met. Even in Witcher 3, when they claimed, like, oh, it's so much better, the gameplay has kind of been there. Um, so, with CD Projekt Red, and you can see the gameplay just, like, progressing, becoming so much better, that, for me, you bet your bottom dollar, that's what I'm, uh, I'm gonna be playing come April 2020. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I mean, we could go on and on about the Microsoft conference because it's actually interesting, as opposed to a lot of the other conferences, <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate. But anyway, what conference was next? Bethesda. Mm, Bethesda. Yep. It yeah. Was bad. Uh, All right. Yeah. Next. Thing? Yeah. No. Well, I, I wrote down a couple from Bethesda. Um, Wolfenstein Youngblood. I already knew that I wanted because I like the new Wolfenstein games. And Doom Eternal again. I already knew that I wanted. Yeah, I already knew that I wanted Doom Earth. Eternal, but they've already given them. They've shown so much of that game Did that like show, I like, don't need to see. Internet? Yeah, I mean they've shown a lot of gameplay that I don't need to see anymore. Like it was the first that I saw that. So like, but, I, I got hyped when I saw that. Um, I wrote down two that I didn't know about previously, and that is Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, which is by the devs that did Evil Within, and yeah. Death Loop, which is by Arcane, the people that did uh, Dishonored and yeah, Prey. Yeah, Dishonored two, and Dishonored two, and Dishonored two. Yes, uh, but both of those looked interesting enough that I I'll, I'll keep them on my radar. On my you know, I don't I don't know if you guys just had time, none that you wanted from Bethesda or what. I mean. Not really. They showed like you know Fallout seventy six well, might yeah, not who suck. Gives a shit about that. Yeah, 
it will suck this year still. It's not a fun yeah, game no. to play, I don't know. Even if no. it doesn't suck this year, it's already, like, too late. Mm, yeah, I mean... It's, games it's, can it's, turn it around. I mean, fucking, uh... Well, here's the thing. No Man's Sky has I mean, a player. No Man's Sky turn it around, but I feel like, are they getting, are they getting, like... They, they can't be. I think No Man's Sky is a perfect example. Like, who's playing No Man's Sky? Nobody. There's still Nobody. some people. But, like, I mean, like, not to the point where it matters. Like, they still don't have good graces in the community and like nobody i think i i disagree i feel like the people when you say the community you mean like the overarching like gamer community but if you look at like the people who actually wanted that game to succeed i feel like people are very excited for how that how much better that game has turned out like people are legit like people paid for a sign that said thank you for continuing to work on this game <laughs> like you do, people don't pay for a fucking billboard outside of their work to say thanks unless they were doing something right yeah fair enough so with that being said, same thing with Sea of Thieves, like, Sea of Thieves has gotten significantly better, but I do kind of agree where it doesn't matter because there's so many people who are just so negative and shitty when a game comes out that isn't exactly the way that they wanted it, that they kind of like... People like Game of Thieves when it first came out. Sea of Thieves? Yeah. The Game of Thieves. No, people were hyper-critical of that game, trust me. They were not a fan of that but game. There's like a large group of people that found it fun. It wasn't yeah, like, like I mean, any, everybody was disappointed. The people who found it, I wouldn't even say found it fun, because I found it fun when it first came out, but it wasn't what people had expected, and they had overhyped it. Yeah. Um, I don't believe just in that fun. Alone. Huh? I don't believe in fun. Overrated. No, I just but don't think it exists. The game itself... Uh, even even if I enjoyed myself, it's it's very simple to see that yes, it was disappointing as for what it is. But it's gotten significantly better post launch, and yet it it doesn't somehow like make people download it just because like it it's got better since launch. Like it, it, people don't remember Le when League of Legends came out, that game was reviewed horribly. People fucking yeah, it was in rough shape game. at release. Like it got like four out of tens and five out of tens. Same thing with Dota 2. Like, Dota 2 came out with better reviews, sure. It was like 6.5 out of 10. But it was not. Like, people just think, like, oh, yeah, this game was great. And the fact was, like, this... The problem is, at that time, like, Twitter, like, rants about, like, oh, this game's not as good as it should have been, and blah, 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 blah. And, like... Um, what would you even call them? There's a certain form of YouTubers, uh, that's what they do, is they, uh, they make, like, oh, what, what do you call them? Like, you used to in school, when you just, like... About critique? Yeah. No, not critiques, but, like, five-page essays, that's what it's considered. Oh, so, essays? like, video essays on video games. Gotcha. Um, oh, like, Joseph Anderson, stuff like that? And like Yong Ye, and uh, I like their content. Like it's fun, but it's very clearly that to get in order to get um, popular videos, in order to get like clickbaity titles and whatnot, they need to say like um, instead of just like something like uh, Sea of Thieves fails to live up to expectations, they'll say something like Sea of Thieves, the worst game of 2018. Yeah. It under delivered and people want their money back like and depends it really the, depends on the content creator though i mean a lot of them will still but it, it doesn't matter the title is overblown to get people to click on it yeah, but i mean that's just youtube yeah i know it is that's definitely true I killed a guy. Hooray. So, um, 
I guess that's all we really wanted to talk about with Bethesda. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I don't give a fuck about it, but Bethesda can suck it. So then... Squeenix? I guess we skipped over PC Gamer. Alright, alright, here's the, here's the... Well, PC Gamer didn't really have shit, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah, I don't really care until Nintendo, to be honest. Like, everything else... Was... No, even Nintendo, like, they had a really shitty start, and it was saved by, like, one reveal. Let's talk about that a little later. Okay. But... PC Gamer was just boring as fuck. It was done by Epic Games, so, like, nothing happened. It's pretty disappointing. Um, Have we talked about Silk Song yet? Hollow Knight 2? I haven't played the first Hollow Knight still. Oh, it's, what a mistake. It, you know what? Here's the thing. If you're interested in playing Hollow Knight, it's available on uh, PC Game Pass. I own it on Steam. <laughs> but it's available on PC God Pass. Yeah. You should play it. You know, there's a lot of things I should play. <laughs> But here's the thing, um, yeah, I'm not interested in talking about PC Gamers Conference because it wasn't very good. And I mean, they've had years where there was like, okay. Yeah. But this year was not one of those years. So what what comes after that? Squeenix. Square on. Um, eh? A big eh? Yeah, I mean, like, we saw FF7 Remake, which we already knew about. We saw Kingdom Hearts DLC, which the trailer had already dropped a few days prior. Um, we saw a lot of random offshoot Final Fantasy shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, even, even like, I like a lot of Squeenix games. This conference bored the shit out of me. Yeah, it was, it was not particularly good. Um, and I'm I'm very sick of seeing Final Fantasy VII remake. I'm I'm, in fact, blown away by how much I just don't give a shit. Hmm. And the reason I'm, I don't give a shit is because they're doing the episodic bullshit. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Can you name like a a point in time where episodic really worked? Um, I don't think it was horrible for like Life is Strange and stuff, but. Like the story games that are just the narrative and not much else. But here's the thing, how, how well did those games do? I mean, Life is Strange did okay. Yeah. I but, mean, Telltale games as well. I mean, to compare like Halo 2 to Halo 2. Off, though, like, they? Like, yes, but like... Uh, that's what happens with every episodic uh, game is that it drops off, you never see the end of it. And that's, I predict that's exactly what's going to happen with Final Fantasy VII. Um, I, I mean, Final Fantasy has legs to it. Sure, but does it have legs after there are multiple, multiple, um... I think, I think the real trouble with this will be the length between episodes, which I feel could be very long with how long it took yeah, them just for it this one. Yeah, could be a year per yeah. episode, and that's, like, at the fastest I can see them doing it. It's kind of weird that they chose a failing model, though. Like they chose a failing model because what they're gonna do is they're gonna release the first episode they're gonna wait a year or two release the second and then say oh well not enough people bought it to it's just a way for them to not invest in it 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 comes down to like a conservative approach that doesn't make any sense it's like passing over a dollar to save a dime it's it's a very bad conservative approach at uh saving money at the cost of all profit And we've seen this before by a lot of other companies that have decided to do episodic content. Oh, well, it costs less money to do episodic content. Yes, that's true. But it's also comparatively, like, the, the amount of money that you're getting in return is nothing. Right, it makes less money. Significantly less money. So we're moving on to... Uh... On to Nintendo, eh? Eh? Um, no, I think there's one more. Mm, I mean, there's Devolver Digital. Who gives a shit? Yeah, Devolver's Digital. I mean, like, well, like, again, I like them as a publisher. I think they are really great, the devs who work with them. Uh, I don't give a fuck about their, you know, clickbaity E3 conferences. Was, did Hotline Miami get announced? No, I probably don't care. No. <laughs> that that game's the shit. But yeah, that's about that. Five seconds remaining. 
That's how I feel about that. So the Nintendo? Yay. Sure, Nintendo. Animal Crossing. Yep, uh, not for... Yeah, not for a while. Eight months. <laughs> yeah, eight, nine months. I mean, but again, I, I like their reasoning, thing. and it was kind of shitting on EA, which I enjoy. Yeah. Very funny. They, they, they did the same thing with Breath of the Wild, and, like, I kind of respect them for doing that. Like, you know, take your time, make a great game instead of a good one. Yeah, but it's my personal opinion that you shouldn't even announce something until it's almost done. Which we'll get to in a little bit. You should never announce anything. You should just surprise release. Yeah, no, exactly. I feel like once Apex Legends did that, we're, we're kind of like, you're done with that. You're done with uh, the old, you know, hype cycle of like three years. It doesn't work anymore in 2019. It just doesn't work. And we see this time and time again that people build up like this idea of like, oh my God, people are going to be like, Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be so innovative. Um, it's going to be so different. And it's going to be like, and it's going to be very similar to the first game, which yeah. isn't a bad thing. The first game is great. It's going to be, it's going to be very much Majora to Ocarina. Exactly. I or hope, like, it looked like there was a lot that they could have done because also, I don't know. I think that I, I, I'm on like the Princess Zelda hype because they kind of like zoomed in on her at the end, you know? They so they did that. All in right. The first... If we're going to have the Zelda discussion, I don't like Breath of the Wild Zelda. No, yeah, no, me either. She's a major bitch throughout the entire game. <laughs> but even just, like, her design, I don't know, like, she oh, doesn't yeah. look like the Zelda I'm familiar with. It's a very normie. And, like, it's it's so weird to me, because Twilight Princess, like, isn't my favorite game by any means. The character designs in Twilight Princess are easily my favorites for Link, Zelda, and Ganon. Like, I, or Ganondorf. Um, those are, like, the ones I think of. But, mm hmm I don't yeah. know. Like, just she's so round. In Breath but of the let's Wild. not talk about Breath of the Wild. Let's talk about uh, basically how the conference all went down. Yeah. Which is, I didn't actually watch Nintendo. I like read a live update feed because I was at well, work. We had a we had a reveal for a new Smash character. Yeah, two, two new Smash characters. Yep. So that first one, of course, Dragon Quest. Yeah. Uh, hero. I, I, I don't like Dragon Quest. Or I've only played Dragon, Dragon Quest Eleven, but it was fun. Do you care about Dragon Quest Hero being in Smash, though? No. No, no, I don't feel like anyone does. Let's be real. Uh, there were some people that were, like, really yeah. vying for Erdrick to be in Smash. I feel like that character is not a big deal. Like, I'm sure to someone, sorry, but, like, someone I'm sure is like, yes, yes. But I feel like this is just down to Nintendo being a Japanese co company. And Dragon Quest is very popular in mm. Japan. I mean, yeah. And as okay. far as to, to my personal appeal, I don't really care. Um, now, that being said, the Banjo-Kazooie reveal was really cool. Yeah. yeah. The way they faked out like with Duck it. Hunt. Yeah. And, I mean, as soon as I saw the image, though, I was going to do like... I mean, yeah, it was very out, obviously knew, was Banjo. <laughs> well, I yeah, don't like, think that they could do it again to like people i mean they they didn't do it the first time i wasn't like surprised or anything it was some funny i like laughed some people were it was like a callback mm, i definitely wasn't i'll just say this i wasn't surprised in the least bit that after they showed banjo kazooie and plus I, it made sense because i'm i'm just thinking about how nintendo and microsoft are buddy buddy now yeah well everybody was thinking it could be steve that was another one steve Mine, yeah minecraft steve yeah why? Yeah, I mean, um, what would I he do? He's iconic enough. He's um, not. People in Minecraft is iconic, iconic, but Steve? Hey, that's the but here's the thing: it would just be like the Minecraft, and what they would do is like. But part of the allure of Minecraft is changing your character skin. Yeah, but to I mean, some like, people, that's that's like say, there's a there's villager from Animal Crossing. You change that design as well, no? Yeah, same I mean, with I didn't. The knees. <laughs> Same with the Mii's, though. I mean, yeah. But with me, ultimately... me, couldn't you actually use your me though? Uh, yes and no. Here I come. There's a lot of outfits for it that are like just other games. Yeah. So here's the thing, though. Uh, newer characters, add-on DLC characters, like as an announcement, it's just not a good idea. Keep it for like another. Don't do it on E3. That's my personal opinion. 
Um, so on to, uh, not Travis Strikes Again, but No More Heroes 3. Uh, never played any of them. You don't yeah, care. Me either. They're all right. I'm not, um, like, particularly like, wow, it's going to be the best game ever, but it'll be something for a lot of people to play. I feel like No More Heroes, though, for what it was, was very specifically, um, an adult game on the Wii, and that's kind of why it did well, not because it was a particularly great game, although it was a good game. It specifically did well on the Wii because it was an adult game for the Wii at a time when there there weren't really any adult games on the Wii, other than, like, The Conduit. So, then you get to Damon X Machina. Right. Which... I it, mean, which... I really can't tell if it's going to be good or not, so... It's yeah, one of those no. games where... For the most part, I, I haven't yeah. been impressed by any particular... Um, any particular uh, mech game. And I've gotten hyped for mech games before that I really should not have gotten hyped for. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not really big on mechs in general. Like, especially mech anime, I just can't really do. Well, fuck you, first of all. Mech anime is great. <laughs> However, um... I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> that's why you said it, I know. No, I, I genuinely but, just don't like mech anime. But mech anime is good. It just depends on the story. It's the same thing as someone saying, like, well, I don't really like uh, fantasy. I've seen some uh, mech anime no. and it. Really no, like it's anyone. oh I haven't you know I don't really like, like fantasy anyone. and then they like watch Game of Thrones I've watched, and all of a sudden I've watched parts of Code Geass, uh, Gurren Lagann, uh, I've watched all of Eureka Seven. Uh, yeah, but I'm just saying this. There there are thousands of mech anime. I'm just saying you've got a real Ur fucking you heart Ureka? on. Do you say Eureka? Yeah, that's how they say her name. To Eureka. Now, have you watched the show? That's how they say her no, name, never. because her name's Eureka. The, the show, uh, I and think I've I also watched, like watched episode, Attack on Titan, which is just this... a fleshy mech anime. Yeah, but as soon as I watched like the first episode of Eureka 7, which I'm going to keep Eureka. calling it that, I was like, nah, I'm not, like, this Listen, doesn't do Listen, you're it. just of this opinion because you got such a fucking hard-on for Code Geass. No, I just think it's stupid to be like, well, I don't like uh, medieval fantasy. I've and like, Some well, I've watched like six medieval fantasies. I'm not gonna watch Game of Thrones. That argument. Listen, if you're gonna make an argument, stop cutting yourself off. No, I'm perfectly fine, thank you. But no, like seriously, I hate that argument of like, well, you know, I didn't like this show that happened to have so what about this one when people element. say they don't like a certain type of uh like music or movie yeah like how many do i have to do before like do i have to i have to watch all of them no but here's the thing when you purposely watch there there's definitely a point to say like yeah well you know i don't like oh i also watch the of, like metal that's completely different neon yeah, genesis of, like... yeah i mean that's it was good like it's not like I it's not like I cherry picked a bunch of bad mech animes. I watched ones that people swear by, and it just wasn't for me. Yeah, but the whole thing is, there, a mech anime could come out. Mine. It's right, more you of really just... got to do something about your mic, my dude. Whatever, man. You're the one who wanted it this way. No, I wanted you to not cut yourself off, like, very explicitly. Yeah, you distinctly said to not do push-to-talk <laughs> multiple times. Yeah. yeah, you told me specifically not to do push-to-talk, and I turned it off. Then so, you're... Hey, you so turn down off. your sensitivity, then. Yeah, why is this so bad? Know. Or turn up your sensitivity, sorry. Listen, I'm in the middle of a very important game. Yes. Well, it'd be nice if we could hear the dumb shit you're saying. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. So with that, with that Breath of the Wild two, do you guys think it's going to be like a Majora's? Let's so let's be clear, it's not Breath of the Wild two. It's, no, yeah, it's a sequel it's Breath to Breath of the, of the Wild. Yeah, sequel. I mean, well, it's very it is Breath of Majora's Mask. Breath of Majora's Mask. There we go. I hope so. I hope it takes a darker turn. I would like it when they. they do it's very turn. specifically not, uh, you know, it's the sequel of Breath of the Wild. But I actually think it's not the sequel. 
Or they literally said it's a sequel. They literally, the announcement says it's a sequel. It's a fake out. It's a fake yeah. out. It's actually going to be the. That wouldn't uh, be a fake out. That'd be a lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And it is very specifically. And I, I know I'm right here. You're all going to be like, wow, how did he know this so far in advance? I but it is disagree. Not no one's going to do that because you're wrong. It is a origin story. Origin story? For no, him? it's yep. super not. Yes, it obviously for is. Who? It's. What do you mean? It's going to be before Ganon It's, it's not. It is. It's before Ganon. What? There's literally a corpse that's reanimated as Ganon. Yeah. Also, Ganon... Yeah, yeah, but that's the whole thing that Ganon keeps coming back. I'm telling you that's right now. That's all of the Zelda games. Yeah, oh, shit. Also, but what I'm telling you right Breath now. In the Wild, Ganon was like, that's like his form when he had been he had been brought back so many times at that point that he just comes back as pure malice because he doesn't have a body. Yes, my theory. My full theory is. I agree. Your right theory's now, wrong. It's going to be an origin story. It's not. They've been building up this whole no time. They've been built. Listen, this There's whole no time. Way. The entire story of Breath of the Wild, everything that you unlock, every single fucking cutscene is telling you about stuff that happened 100 years ago. Yeah. All the shit that's going to that's, happen. Because that's the plot of Breath of the Wild. It already existed 100 years ago. <laughs> yeah, because you're the hero that failed oh, in Breath of the Wild. You know, oh, are you, know you saying all the stories? You think that it's going to be the 100 years ago story? Yes, yes. And it's, you're not going to actually get that reveal until like 60%. No, because we already know that story. We watched it through the memories of the companions. We watched like very specific little tiny. The trailer didn't show memories. any of the companions. It's not like you got like a three it hour just showed, fucking long. It just showed Zelda. Yeah, the trailer was like twenty seconds long. The... To be fair, though, any speculation we have is kind of fair because they showed so little. But they said exactly. the word sequel. Yes. The game. The out. game is very definitely Ganon's malice form repossessing either his or another body. Whatever, man. That's just my. It's literally, what the opinion. trailer showed. This is what's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any way to know, but hey, that'd be cool. I mean, the word sequel is like a pretty good way to know. I don't think- I mean, it technically is a sequel, even though it's an origin No, that'd be a prequel. That's why we have yes, different words still, that means different it's things. It's still a sequel, hey, hey, because what's it the, came what's out that after. One Borderlands game called? It's like a- The pre-sequel? Pre because it takes place between the first and second game, so it's a pre-game to the sequel? Yeah, I agree. Nah, man, you're wrong. No, that's literally why it's called the pre-sequel. <laughs> that's what you think. No, that's what I know, because it takes place between Borderlands that 1 because, and 2. Ha ha ha, it's Borderlands. Because it's the wow, pre-sequel, because it no, actually leads directly into Randy, the sequel. Because it's Randy Pitchford. Now, what did they call uh, that Lion King movie? What did they call that one? One and a half, because it takes nope, place between the first and second game. They called it three game. in Europe. They called it three in Europe. Well, Europe's fucking wrong. Whatever, man. I'm just saying... That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to find out. We got like four years before that game comes out, so we got quite a while. Four years? <laughs> I wouldn't say four years. I mean, they've already made the engine. They're gonna make very small updates and then just like do the story element part. They're actually. It looks like they're gonna keep the exact same, uh, which is why I think it's gonna be an origin story, is because they're keeping the exact same um, map. Like, they might update some things, but imagine if, like, in my opinion, if the castle is fully, like, remade, like, oh, look, it's new, then it's then it's already a prequel in my mind. But again, I saw this on a tiny little, uh, tiny little phone screen, so. I super definitely do not think it's a prequel. Alright, you're entitled to your opinion. We have no way of knowing for sure. So. They did say sequel, though. So you, yeah, that's, do you guys that's, not really care about Smash, though? No. Um, I care about Smash. I just don't think, like, DLC characters deserve to be on, like, E3. That's fair. But, I mean, they were. <laughs> yeah, they were, and that's but, like, why... But, like, we already saw Bakugan now. Yeah, it wasn't, about. like, very like, good. Are you excited? Are you no. excited for Banjo-Kazooie? I want Sora. No. That's all I care about. I don't give a fuck about Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, I, want, I want fucking Goku. That's who I want. That's the dumbest shit. Sora Everything for Smash. Is... No, it would literally be the funniest shit I've ever seen. I want that's Goku. So, that's the, no, that's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. That's what people said about Ryu, and he's one of the fucking most fun players, or people to play in the entire fucking thing. Like, I, that's the whole point of Smash, is to have game. people who are completely fucking here's random. Thing. Here's the thing. It's a game? 
so it makes sense. Everyone but, like, knows Smash is all about Sora. Yeah, but you know you don't have to have them like have their actual full ability, otherwise certain characters would be super fucking it's OP not... and other ones would be garbage. You are it's ignoring like... what I just told you and acting like I said something entirely different. I said well, go ahead. What Goku is from a show. No, he's Every from video games. He has games too. From... He yeah, has plenty games, of good but games. he's not that's not what he's from. Yeah, yeah but from by the anime. same thing, I Sonic has Zelda. a show, though. Zelda is a show. Sonic is a show. But Sonic started as a video game. You can't prove But that. also, Dragon Ball did not start as a video game or a, a show. Manga. Yes, okay. exactly. But no, no, none of the video game characters started as a manga. I don't know if that's actually true. I'm pretty sure Yoshi actually started as, like, a comic add-on way before he was actually in um he was actually in super mario uh, yeah and if they smash. added him to smash like before he was a part of a main mario game but that's that's the thing he's already been a part Dra goku has literally been in like 50 almost as many games just, as like Luigi. Games. like they're not like no they're not there's rpgs uh there are side scrollers there are plenty of different other types of games that goku has been in yeah, Goku's been in a shitload of games. Man. I think he's There's a lot of Dragon Ball games. games. It's just a like, technicality. Like, the heart of Goku, who he is, is not, like, video game. Yeah, but if he's been in a fuck ton of video games, then it doesn't matter. He wished himself into a video game with seven Dragon yeah. Balls. It doesn't matter. That's the whole point of Smash, is to have people who, like, don't really make sense fighting each other. Well, like, you have fucking Kirby and Captain Falcon. What the fuck are you talking about? Like... That's Plus, just I think how it should be, like, I iconic game characters if they're going to be from like Goku, is, Goku is very iconic. iconic. Goku is probably way more. I iconic. I don't even I don't care about Goku, Goku and Smash, but I'm just telling you, you're wrong. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, like Goku. Goku's may, may be iconic, but he's iconic for anime. He's not like an iconic game character. No, I disagree. The the fucking what were they called? The, not not Budokai. Whatever. There were Dragon Ball games that were like super fucking popular. Well, Budokai was super popular. Was Fighter Z was super popular. I um, couldn't remember that was the name of it. Dragon Ball Z: The Legacy of Goku on Game Boy Advance was super popular. Um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse was super popular. And the thing is, it it, it could be uh, the fighter version of Trunks, which has only ever been in video games. Wow. Good job, with this awesome gatekeeping smash. Yeah, like you're not you're not the gatekeeper. Honestly, so many people were so pissed when people were like Ryu is gonna be in Smash because like ah he's a he's a fighter. Like no, it doesn't matter. That's the whole point of Smash. Everybody was hyped for that. Hmm. Everybody was hyped for that. No, there were plenty of people who were very upset about Sora. Because specifically, Sora would be fun. But see, I'm not. I'm not an asshole who says like, well, no, Sora was in an RPG, and that's that's not a fighting game. Is that what that I said at sense. all? Is that what I said? <clears throat> but it's basically the same argument, with a different rule applied. Like, I honestly, Goku's a better pick than Dragon Quest Hero because some of them don't even fucking have names. And also, Dragon Quest is literally just a fucking uh, a reskin. Like, it's made by the same guy who made Dragon Ball. I don't think Goku would be good for Smash. Like, if, you, if you're gonna have Dragon Quest characters in there, you might as well have Dragon Ball characters in there. I don't agree with that. They're, they're literally made by the same person, so... That doesn't... okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily... I, I would literally tracks. be fine... I, I think it does, but if I would we're, If we're talking about, fine. like... Like, if we were having a discussion about comic books, I couldn't just bring up My Chemical Romance because Gerard Way wrote The Umbrella Academy. I think you could. But it would it would be, like, very specific, something that's like, hey, we did this for no reason. It's the same thing as, like, um, many actual vi visual, uh, not visual novels, you know the terminology. Don't. That are like, oh, this isn't, like, what most comics have superheroes. Like, who fucking cares? That's all I'm saying. Are you referring to like, Umbrella Academy? Because they are superheroes in that. Or like, um, wow, you know, this didn't start as a comic. Avatar The Last Airbender, but... 
uh, it shouldn't be included in the best comics because That's it true. originally was. Avatar: The Last Airbender isn't a real anime because it doesn't have a manga yeah, associated not, with it. Yeah. I don't consider it an anime. What the fuck? Movie. Why not? <laughs> no, I don't consider it an anime either. It's a cartoon, technically. I mean, I kind of agree. I, I think this is this is my distinction though. Uh, Avatar is a cartoon. However, if you look at Legend of Korra, it is an anime. Why? How? How does that track at all? Because Legend of Korra was drawn by Japanese people, and anime is like a fucked up Japanese word. Well, you know, but uh, Japanese people consider any American animated thing anime. Like Family Guy's anime. In two yeah. Japanese people. Well, I don't know if that's true, but yeah. Yeah, it is. We'd have to Google it. I mean, all anime stands for is animation. Yeah. Exactly. But if we're talking like how we define But my personal anime. definition, then yeah, fuck, no. Yeah. I don't consider it a, in an anime. But right. anyone else could, and I would be like, all right, it's, you know what, it, this is the perfect example of a JRPG. Like, what does a JRPG mean to you? Uh, so there's two distinct things for me with that. Um, there's JRPG as like a literal sense that is any RPG developed by a Japanese developer company, and then there's yeah. a genre of JRPG. And I tend to agree with your assessment, but I know so many people who get so fucking mad because specifically a JRPG is a very specific type of game where you do not have creative control of the character and uh, X, Y, and Z, and the character has to be voiced, and it's like, nah, dude, that's not right. true. So for like, for like a literal sense, Dark Souls is a JRPG, but genre-wise, yeah, I, I wouldn't call it a JRPG. Exactly. I totally agree with what your assessment, what you're saying. But I also think like, people who argue the semantics of stuff like this are like, like obviously we agree. I feel like that's but half I think of this people, podcast. That's all of this podcast. <laughs> yeah, but people like I don't know, that shit is that shit gets old, like just talking about semantics a lot of the time. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun sometimes. It's fun, but like when you hear like specific arguments being said over and over again, it's like fuck man. Like, yes, your argument is technically like like you have your point, but I disagree with that. And I'm allowed to. Like it's, it's completely subjective, is what I'm getting at. It's not an objective um, argument. I mean, most arguments aren't objective, I would argue. I think you're wrong. In fact, I know you're wrong. You know. Because in the end, there's really only, like, rightness, like, most of the time. Oh, it's a dire victory. What? So it's been about a cool hour. Do we want to end here? Oh yeah, yeah. So we we still have to we still have to mention, um, you know, let's do a rating here. What what would you say Microsoft is? Did pretty good. I would say it's a seven. I'd it say a seven as six well. Six or seven. Yeah, it it was better than what I had expected. The majority of the time, I'd say. Um, EA, you want to throw a score there? Four. Who cares out of ten? I'd say a three. Square. Five. Pretty middle of the road. Four, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about Ubisoft, which is where I say fuck E3. <laughs> like, oh, is that the point Ubisoft that you thought we'd stuff? be excited for? Huh? Out of is that I the... thought you guys would be like, oh, yeah, like, you know, they, they showed off, like, a new this and that, and I'm just like, I don't know. What did they even show other than Watch Dogs? <sighs> well, here's the deal, right? What the fuck did they do to Sam Fitcher? I don't care. <laughs> they... I don't care. <laughs> they took Splinter Cell and they just cut... Cut him clean. Hey, look how they massacred my boy. They've done that to most of their titles, though, have they not? I mean, yes, but that doesn't make it okay. I feel like most of the time they just come out with, like, a bad version of it, but it's not just, like, okay. Like, what they did with uh, CNC3, Command & Conquer, what they did with the uh, mobile version of that, 
is unforgivable. And it's basically the same thing they're doing with Splinter Cell now. But, you know, that was EA, and this is Ubisoft. And it's, you know, obviously people are more diehard towards, like, Diablo. So when, like, the Diablo mobile game came out, even if it is significantly better than other mobile games, it doesn't matter. Because right. it's a mobile game, and these people are, like, hardcore. Um, when you compare it to, like, what they did to Command and Conquer, which is literally take a very uh, interesting game with a lot of depth and uh, multiple different arcs you can decide to take on your, you know, warring adventure, if you will, um, and then just boil it down to, like, here's these boring fucking squares, fuck you. This is the game. It's basically the same thing they did with Splinter Cell, so... You know, just completely ruin a franchise, why don't you? On another note, Ubisoft ruined Prince of Persia, which, that was a long time ago, but fuck Ubisoft. <laughs> they milked Assassin's Creed to the ground. Well, if you didn't know, Honestly, Prince of the, Persia... the new Assassin's Creed's are better than, like, Rogue, you and the Syndicate. True, but, but, but here's the thing. Stuff in them that, like... I don't want to get into, like I I tried playing the first Ass Creed. The first one's I tried one's playing wrong. the second one. The second I one's tried great. playing the second one, and I could just never get into it. It's just not my style. I don't like those type of third person games, and that's oh, no, that's sense. that's my big gripe with like Sony right now is that they only come out with what seems like that type of third person game, which. Like a slower, not saying that Ask Creed is particularly slow, but like that very particular type of game, I tend to not like. Not not saying that I hate them. I just it's very similar to what you were saying about um, Max. You know, I've literally tried playing probably a hundred third person. Uh, yeah, that's pretty ignorant of you to say. You haven't played all of the <laughs> third person games. <laughs> yeah, I've not played all of them, but I've played a, a lot, like a, over 100 easily. And some are better than others. Um, but in general, like, unless the third person game is, like, really fast, I'm just not, like, a big fan. Like, Spider Man was pretty good. But again, it, it came out right after I'd played something where it was even faster. Excuse me. And also it was like a merger of Tony Hawk and like Ratchet and Clank, which is dope. But anyway, um, now that PC Game Pass is out, you you guys actually have an opportunity to play Sunset Overdrive. I'm interested in an I, opinion. I own Sunset Overdrive. We've been through this. I've played this game already. <laughs> I fucking love Sunset Overdrive. <laughs> it's a great game. It's so underrated this generation, and it. Xbox deserves to have it be underrated because when they first started, they were so shitty, but you know how it goes. What do you think about all this, Jonathan? About all what? What, what do you give the Nintendo conference? The Nintendo conference? I actually enjoyed it because I care about Smash, and then I thought that the uh, teaser, I mean, I'm hyped for the sequel. You like you like Dota? Not really. No, what what's one of your favorite games that's not Nintendo? Uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. So let's say if uh during E three Microsoft, uh oh, whatever yeah, they Minecraft call them, Dungeons. Outlook. Phil, no, that. Phil Spencer comes out, and he says, "Listen, there's going to be a patch that costs five dollars for Microsoft, or for for Minecraft. Um, you're going to be able to play as Steve's cousin." Ronaldo. <laughs> I wouldn't care. But, it's a totally different game. And also, I don't really play Minecraft anymore. Yeah, but you said, just pick a game you actually play now, and I'll give you, like, the exact parallel. I don't know. Like, right at this very point in time, I'm not really playing too many games. You're playing Dota, it looks like. <laughs> I'm playing Auto Chess. Yeah, so... They unveil a new character. They do that all the fucking time. That costs five dollars, and it's at E three. What's wrong with that? I mean, it's like okay, it's, it's like eh, it, it's not interesting. Just flat out like 
unless it's your favorite character, it's not very interesting. I don't. I disagree because like I didn't really care about Banjo Kazooie, but I could get hype with the community that it's out. Yeah, but how is that like enhancing your thing? Because for... uh, my friends are enjoying it. Like they're hyped. It makes them want to play the game more. It makes me want man. To... Let me tell you what my friends. They fucking all of them basically love Dark Souls. It's good. Game. And I'm just not a fan of Dark Souls. Wow, you should play it. Yeah, I, I've tried. I mean, it's just like... Eh. You just gotta get to a certain point where it clicks and then it becomes fun. Because I remember I played Dark Souls 2 and like the first like maybe 10 hours, I was like, this is like just not fun. And then it clicked and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, but like, if you have to play something for 10 hours... I mean, it's the same thing as like... Yeah, I get that. I, I get would that never... Idea. I would never ask someone to like watch a show... And be like, nah, dude. But like, the first ten episodes are are like, <laughs> they're really rough. Like, oh, uh, they're terrible. But then it'll you just have click. To watch them. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just click. And like episode eleven, people try to tell me that all the time I'm with not, anime. I'm not saying you know? like you have to. I'm yeah, saying, yeah. Like, oh, I, I understand what you're saying. I I think that you're missing out on something. And like, if you gave it the time, you would enjoy it. My but big if you thing. Don't give it the time. Like that's you know that's your thing. That's okay. My big thing about Dark Souls is that I just feel like there's nothing like carrying me that makes me want to continue playing. Okay. Personally, now everyone can have a different opinion on that. Some people are gonna say like, listen, the combat alone was enough, and I love good combat, but at the same time, like. It's not enough for me personally. I, I I love a good story. That's like the number one thing for me. I kind of love that type of storytelling though, where you just like don't know anything. Like I don't know. I eat, I eat that stuff up. I like going detective mode and trying to figure out why things are happening, like what's going on. See, that immerses me. I mean, have you ever played uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution? I have not. You should give that a big try. You'd probably get lost in it for like a hundred hours. A hundred hours? A hundred hours. You're high as fuck. Hours. He's gonna play it twice. That it's that's still not a hundred hours. Yeah, it's like ninety, but still No, it's still it's not ninety. No, if you if you do everything in the game twice, I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure I did everything. I'm I have twenty nine hours logged, and that's with DLC. But human revolutions regardless, human revolution Maybe I'm just terrible at video games. If no, 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 I, I don't. I disagree. People who say you're terrible at video games are like, or Those like, oh, you saying, know, I'm just. I know. I know. Hours to get the, yeah, yeah. You're just memeing and shit. But like, people who say like, for example, like get good with Dark Souls. It's like, dude, if you keep playing, you'll just naturally get better. Like that's what happens at any fucking game. And it's just like, do I like what I've played so far? yes or no you know yeah i mean i definitely think that there's a way to focus on getting better though like quicker yeah i i agree with that but again it comes down to like is this worth my time it, you know it's this is what i tell uh, a lot of people who i know personally who like don't want to learn like basic skills and it's like no, no no but like you don't understand this is going to help you throughout your life and they're like nah like I'll just pay someone else like an exorbitant amount of money to do this thing. It's like people who don't know anything about computers or people like me, for example, like, you know, I'm going to build my own computer and like save a fuck ton of money compared to like buying a computer. And, you know, all of us here are going to do that too, presumably. But like who here is going to be like, dude, I'm going to go get like fucking a brand new exhaust system and install that on my busted ass car so that it runs for another year okay. instead of like i definitely i definitely it. won't do that yeah but like i'm not gonna do that people do that my but i'm not gonna that. do that my dad would like that's would great my, my you know what my stepdad does that my uh, uh my uncle does that did you know that <laughs> but, um, no, no, like it, <laughs> a couple like, of your uncles do that <laughs> yeah i know that was the meme specifically though i was gonna say uncles and then i went like I know one, <laughs> but, uh, the thing I'm trying to get at here is like, if you work at something even a little bit, like you won't suck. Yeah. 
for example, yeah, me at Dota right now, I'm terrible because I haven't fucking played this game since it was in beta. Yeah, we did real bad those games. Yeah, we're terrible. That's okay. Anyway, that was a podcast episode. Yeah, we did it. It's true. We did a we did a whole episode there. Hooray! It wasn't a very good episode, but we did do no. an episode there. We should really pick a game that we can do like good at. I mean, <laughs> there are none of those. <laughs> so far, it's been pretty fucking. Impressive. But it's also the time. Like, I'm tired. I, I don't know. Um, make excuses. It, it's a legitimate excuse. I mean, okay? it's it's difficult with my work. Yeah. When do you wake up, Jonathan? I don't know. It depends on when I work. Although when I did you wake up today? Today, uh, nine. Okay. I woke up at seven, so you, it's not that bad. But usually, I wake up around. Well, I'd say three well, days a week. I wake up at six tomorrow. So can yeah. we end this episode? I've been trying. No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, fucking put Windows Ten on your goddamn solid state drive. I want to do it all together. I still haven't even bought like the other. You're gonna get a different solid state drive by then. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. We did a podcast, and there will be more podcasts. Um, and you can watch those, too. Hopefully soon we'll be starting the side shows, like Encountered and Counterattack, but we need to figure out what the fuck we're doing for those. It's going to be like, and then it's going to be an adventure. Here's the thing, it's going to be like a side show, like a slide show, but also like side show. If bot. we're doing Fallout 76, we need to like start that shit. Yeah, isn't it? This Are you doing it? I have no free. opinion on that. The the free it. the free trial Wait, ends the seventeenth. So. Who likes that though? Somebody would no. have to like that. When, when, so when no, I mean honestly, there's it? plenty of Bethesda fanboys that still play. Yeah, yeah who right, literally right. Like, like talk it up like it's the greatest fucking thing since. Is, isn't right. the point of that show? For but it's Fallout. No, in, in, in multiplayer. The point of Encounter. Understand. The point of Encounter is for us to play something new. Oh, okay. And form an opinion on it. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's yeah. Fallout. Anyway, we're done here. But it's online. Thanks for watching. What do you not understand? <laughs> and we will see you next time. In hell. In hell. This is hell. Bye. Breathe.